go ahead and learn how to do a live search. Uh, what a live search is, is basically as you type in on a, a, an input box, it starts guessing all the results and lists them for you, for you to click. Okay, so let's learn how we're going to use that. First thing is we're going to create a database. We're going to do this. We're going to search a MySQL database. So let's do search some, some states. So I just Googled and found this SQL statement for states. So I'll just copy the plain text of all these states. And then I'll go to PHP my admin. And I'm not going to create a new table. I'm going to just go to the SQL tab and paste that and hit go. And that will create, and you can see over here, states. It's actually created a whole table of all the states for me. Okay? Very nice, very easy to do. Okay? So now what we need to do is let's start a document. Okay. So we have two files, get states.php and index.html. So let's open our index. We're going to do HTML, our standard head, close our head, open a body close the body and close the HTML. Now we need to have a text box obviously and that would be input type equals text Oops, equals text okay and we need to give it a function now the way this is gonna work is we're gonna add an on key up event listeners and every time I lift up on a key it's gonna try to search the database so on key up equals and we're gonna say get states again we haven't made this yet we're going to in a second and we're gonna send it this referring to the text box dot value as in we're gonna send this function whatever is in the text box when I key up okay and then we're gonna close that off now we're gonna line break and now we're gonna open a, a blank div call it results basically this is where our results are gonna be slash div okay we don't need anything in there that's all we need now uh, we're going to use again jQuery to do our AJAX to help us do this because we're going to we're going to use AJAX to do this live search. So let's get a jQuery statement. So we'll go to the jQuery website, uh, right click, yeah, right click, view source, and grab our jQuery line and go back. Now we'll paste that in. Now we'll open our own script tags, text slash javascript script okay we need to open that function that we created called get states right and we're gonna pass it value we're just gonna call it value that, that's just what we're passing in now we need to do the jQuery which is dollar sign post first thing first parameter is going to be um, get states .php. we're gonna call that okay and then we're going to add the parameter, which will be well, comma, and then the parameter will be, we're going to just call it partial state, because it's only going to be a part of a state that we're going to type in, colon, the value. So this is the value, this is the variable that PHP is going to look for. We're saying PHP's variable, partial state, is equal to this JavaScript variable value. We're going to close our curly brace. The next thing will be a function call, which this function gets called when Ajax is finished. And we want to, whatever PHP gives us, we want to have that in a variable called data. And we'll close that off. Okay? Uh, JavaScript. There we go. My coloring was off. I noticed that was wrong. Okay. Now, when we, after PHP works its magic and does the SQL query and we get a this function gets called with data. What do we want to do? Well, we want to store that data in this div. So we'll grab that div with a selector uh, results and we're going to store the H the inner HTML it's in jQuery that's the HTML function and we're just store the data in there. So basically, we're going to we're going to use Ajax to call this function. We're going to send we're going, to, we're going to tell PHP's variable partial state to be equal to value. And when it's done, it's going to send back some data that we're going to store in this div. Okay? So let's go ahead and write our PHP file. And what we need to do for that is open our PHP tags, close our PHP tags. Now we need to connect to the database. So MySQL underscore connect. And I'm on localhost, so it's my, my database server is localhost colon 8889. That's just mine. Yours is probably going to be different. Uh, the username is root, and the password is root. Okay. And now I'm also going to do an or die, and I'm going to say mysql underscore error. 
that's a function. The reason I'm doing that is if I wrote something incorrectly, I needed to tell me that. So I don't sit here for an hour trying to figure it out. Now I need to select the database, so MySQL underscore select underscore DB. And we're going to select the database called test. As you saw back in phpMyAdmin, this database is called test right there. Okay. Uh, where are we? Back here. Okay. And again, with the same thing as the last one, we're going to do or die MySQL error because if say I spelled it wrong or whatever, then I'll know about it. So get in the habit of doing that. Again, not on the real site, because on the real site, we don't want errors to show up. Okay? Now, that that variable that we passed over was called partial states. Now, that is going to be equal to post. It's now a post variable. When we called it, when we, when we did the Ajax post, that means we're sending post variables, this being one of them. Okay? Post variable, now it's this, and that was partial states. Now here's here's what this all means. This variable needs to be the same as this variable. Okay? This value doesn't matter. This value corresponds to this value. And this partial state corresponds to this partial state. This can be whatever. I'm just storing that in whatever I can, you know, this could be whatever. It doesn't matter. But I'm just going to keep the names the same just to make things easier. Now I need to make a SQL call. So I'm going to store the answer to this SQL call in a variable called states. Okay? And that's going to be equal to my SQL underscore query. Now we're going to select, okay, the name. So if we go back to our our SQL here, we want to select the name from states. Okay? So that would be select name from states. Okay, now we want to select a particular one, so that's where. Uh, now we don't want to do where. We want to do where name. We don't want to do equals because it's not going to equal it. What we need to do is where like, where name, like. Okay. Now we put in quotes. We put our variable partial states. Now the way like works is it searches for part of it. However, it still is going to be the same as equal to at this point because we haven't told it where to be like it. Like it from the beginning or like it from the end. Okay, so we're going to add in these key uh, key codes called percent signs. Okay, so we're going to add percent signs in the beginning and the end of this variable. Now what this will do is it'll search for the database. So if I type in a D, it'll find everything with a D in it that's before the D and after the D, which is exactly what we're looking for. Okay, now we'll go ahead and end our SQL statement with a quote and move that on. Now we need to, now this is going to return an array, like we're going to create an array out of this because it's going to have multiple results. If I type in a D, there are multiple states that have a D in it. So we'll open a while loop, while state array, okay, we're just going to, we're creating a variable here. This array is being created, equals mysql underscore fetch underscore array that creates an array out of the result which is states, okay? So just this this corresponds to this, okay? And this is just a new variable we're creating. As in each iteration, okay, of the loop will store in the array, okay? So to make more sense, we can actually just call that state. So while state equals fetch array states, okay? Open and close the curly brace. We want to echo out. We want to open we want to echo a div. We want each of the each of the items it echoes to be on its own div so we can style it later. And we want to give that uh, state, we want to call that state, and now state is an array, okay, name. Now, basically what's happening here, if you don't know what's going on, is I'm selecting the name. Now, I didn't have to select name. I could have selected, say, star, which is select all. When I say all, I mean ID, ABBR, and name, okay? When I get an array back, I have, I actually have three parts of the array. I have ID, ABBR, and name. So technically, if I did star, let's say, here, here's my possible things. I could do state name, I could do state ID, and state ABBR. So you see what's going on here is, is this is creating an array, and I can choose part of the array. This is called an associative array. When I'm not using indexes, I'm using names. Okay. Now again, we're going to speed this up. We only want to get our name. Therefore, these two don't exist, and I'm just going to do that. Okay. I'm going to echo, I'm going to create a div out of each one of these. Right. Close our div. So hopefully you know what's going on here. So basically, we're connecting to our database. We're getting that post variable, so we're getting part of a state. We are selecting everything that corresponds to part of that state. 
and then we're echoing out each of those full names that have to do with the part of the name. Okay, so go ahead and save that, and now we'll take a look, and we have a form here. Now, if I type in a D, I have a problem. Undefined index partial states on line six. Okay, so let's make sure that I have this correct. So partial, uh, see, this is partial state, and that needs to correspond to this right here, partial state. Save, refresh. Now, if I type in a D, okay, this is all the states that just have a D in it. If I delete it, it shows me everything. I'll need to put a condition here to stop that. But if I type in an A, here's all the ones that have an A in it. So let's find, uh, let's say California. So C, A, F, no, none of them, C, A, L, okay, California. See, there's no other state that has C, A, L in it, okay? So that's how you can create a live search with PHP, MySQL, jQuery, and Ajax.